How can I get some extra money? These days with the cost of education going through the roof and the interest rate on fixed income investments headed downwards it is indeed a daunting task to set aside a sufficient sum to ensure that your kids have the best. Everyone knows that astute investing is the only way to build up an appropriate corpus to meet one's child's future needs. However most parents were overwhelmed with so many investment options that are available. Most parents are so involved in getting ahead in the rat race that they hardly find the time to manage their own commitments and planning for the financial well-being of the child is left in the back burner. When parents are looking to set aside money for a child's education they are looking at building up a corpus. Hence their investment objective is capital appreciation or receiving a lump sum capital growth when their child reaches a certain age or at the end of a target period. It is important to ensure that your plan has a similar objective. It must be noted at this point that fund managers have a better chance of ensuring capital appreciation if the fund is a closed-ended one. In the case of an open-ended fund investors have the option of redeeming at any time hence some amount of money has to be held in cash in order to meet the redemption requests. Since there can be no compromise on your commitments to your child you cannot afford to gamble with the money that you set aside for this purpose. Yet despite the fact that child funds have an exposure to the stock markets they have a lower risk associated with them in comparison to pure equity funds. One can say that these funds are managed conservatively. Most fund houses have capped their investment in equity at a level between 65% and 70%. The fund manager thus has the option to shift the funds from equity to debt when the markets are overvalued as well as the flexibility to shift to equity when the markets decline. By smartly allocating assets across debt and equities he can ensure that he enters low and exits high the cornerstone of a successful investment strategy. Child plans usually come with a lock-in period. This works to your advantage. Over the short term equities are the riskiest assets over the long term if you tread wisely they can generate the best risk adjusted returns. That is just what fund houses do they have a lock-in period to give the fund manager the time and flexibility to make really long-term investments in the child fund. Hence for parents who want to build a corpus for their children over the long term a lock-in is indeed an ally. A lock-in also deters parents from making premature withdrawals. A bit of advice don't just put your money in a fund because the name says child plan. Instead ensure that your goals and the investment objectives of the fund are aligned. If some of the features of these fund appear restrictive for example the lock-in period cap on the amount being invested in equities etc. It pays to remember that over the long term these restrictions work in your favor. So go ahead invest today and ensure that your kid's future is bright.